All right, final video for the kite construction. You can see the kite has been turned over face down against the table. This is the back of the kite. And I've gone ahead and cut off six pieces of crepe paper streamer, two pink, two green, two purple. You choose your colors, okay, but six. And I use the length of the table to measure out all six. I have a dispenser set up for it so it's easy for you to measure each of your streamers, the length of a single lab table, and cut, and then begin to assemble here at your table or maybe on the back counter. You see that I have green on top of purple here, and I'm just gonna put a little bit of tape right here to make sure that both of those stick down. If I didn't quite catch that corner, maybe a little more tape. Remember, the tape is a paper tape. It's very sticky, it works very well, it's very lightweight, and very easy to tear with your hands. So my paper, my crepe paper streamers on the back are already on. Now let's talk about the front, the bridle, and how you go about tying a square knot. This is the bridle right here. There's the hole we punched earlier. The bridle is reinforced with a piece of poster board that will already be cut for you. I'm gonna make a square knot. Now I don't know that you can see under the camera what this square knot is gonna look like, but you can always research square knots yourself and practice tying them. First of all, one loose end of the string goes over another. Let's see if we can flatten this out. So one loose end of the string goes over another and wraps around over under, okay? And here comes that loose end. Now, once again, going back over under again with the same raw end of the string, same end of the string. You see how as I pull those together, it begins to form something of a little square there that is a square knot. It's a very secure knot, very good for kite flying. Later on, when you're done flying, I'll have you just take a pair of scissors, cut the string. You don't need to take the knot out. Cut the string or cut the string here to remove all the string and just throw that small bit away and leave the rest of this for somebody in another class to use, okay? When it comes time to winding the string back up, because you're gonna have a lot of loose string when you're flying your kite, you've gotta keep the string kind of taut or tight. And that means you're gonna have to wind this way. So you maintain tension. See how the string's coming through my finger, my thumb and my pointer finger and my right hand as I wrap, 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 keeping that string tight or taut, not loose. That's an easy way to get it knotted, but tight as best you can so that we'll have more string to use for the next class. Okay, now you're ready to fly, you try.